change. So this video, um, I'm gonna talk about um, people like <clears throat> having a problem, you know, the idea of people hating me and getting mad at me for doing things that make me happy. Well, when I first got here to Pensacola, I was treated like I was super not welcome here at all. And literally being told by several people that basically there's no room for me here. <clears throat> and that mentally slow, narcissistic, um, that narcissistic fake control freak fake friend, Sarah, um, she would try to, um, like she gave me a vicious mean look like she wanted to whip my ass. And she was way younger than me, like 24, and I'm 36. And she looked at me like she wanted to whip my ass. Because I said, the reason why I came, chose Pensacola to come to was because of the beaches, you know. And, um... And so many people make it like as if I had to have some explaining to do for re the reason why I chose Pensacola, but why Pensacola, you know, and then being told to go back to where I came from or go back to New Orleans, you know, even when I went to Los Angeles, I was told to go back to New Orleans or go back by your family where you came from because nobody wants you here and stuff like that. So, um... Now, I mean, I already mentioned about, no, nah, never mind, I'm not going to say it, but um, it's like ever since the coronavirus thing happened, the bus drivers modified their schedules and they have updated schedules, but they refuse to tell me like the beach schedule and they keep playing games and they have this one white obese female per bus driver she seems a little masculine acts a little masculine and she was the bus driver who would um get an attitude and rush me on the bus and then drive really slow like they would do that in los angeles and so um she would get an attitude with me um I even went to the bus station and they refused to tell me what the beach bus schedule is. Like the, um, and then last Friday, I think it was, I asked her, or was it last Saturday? I asked the driver, I said, when, when should I, um, you, you know, do y'all run on Sunday? I, I mean, no, I said, where do, where do I take the bus on Sundays? Oh, the bus doesn't stop here on Sunday. Well, then I said, well, where, where should, do I catch it on Sunday? Oh, the bus doesn't run at all. Well, why didn't you tell me in the first place the bus doesn't run at all? Why at first she try to say that they don't stop there? The, that bus driver asked, like, is if she don't want me going to the beach. You know, like, I don't have a right to go to the beach. And twice, well, once it happened, then a the second time, um, it almost happened that they left me stranded. You know, and, the, and, the, and it was like they keep playing games and just coming when they want to. And I don't like taking the the other beach bus um, during the week, you know. So, you know, that's why I prefer, you know, the 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 weekend bus, you know, and I prefer to go to the beach on weekends, but while I can't go to the beach on Sundays, but I don't know if she was lying or telling the truth, because one day the schedule is like this, and then the next day is something different, and they don't even have anything updated on their website, and, and they're not clear with a lot of stuff about their schedules and everything, and the bus drivers act rude and treat me like I'm supposed to already know, you know what the schedule is on where the stops are and everything when I was new here and I get into arguments and altercations with bus drivers getting an attitude with me and I didn't realize this was part of the gang stalking you know 
that the bus drivers would act extra rude to me when trying to ask for directions when I was new and trying to learn my way around. And when I was in Mobile, Alabama, now shall I say almost two months ago, the bus drivers treated me the same way. And, and black females, you know, being extra rude and abusive, you know, in Mobile, the buses are in Mobile, Alabama. <clears throat> so, uh, it's like one day the bus stop at the beach is over here, or the next day, I, I mean, or the, or the next week at that same time, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't run at that same time or this location or something else. They just keep manipulating and playing games <clears throat> and stuff like that. Um, like as if nobody wants me going to the beach, like I'm not allowed to go to the beach or like I don't have a right to go to the beach. And then the bus driver get an attitude with me and ask for, for sure. I, I try to ask, well, what, t what time is the bus supposed to um, leave the beach tomorrow or where should I go? And, and, and then when I went to the main station, they acted like they didn't have an answer. Like, how can y'all not tell me what the schedule is? <clears throat> for the beach jumper, you know that bus. <clears throat> it it was a, a, it was predictable schedule before coronavirus, but now it's like they keep manipulating and changing everything, and nothing is the same. One day the buses stop running at six on a Saturday, then that next Saturday, then it stops running at seven, or it's at this location is to where it's where it's picked up at, and then on a Friday, and then that next Friday is not there anymore. It's running on Sunday, or it's not running that next Sunday. And then I, and then they, other bus drivers, they shrug their, sh like the um, shuttle, like what do you call it? The um, little trolley things. I ask them and they shrug their shoulders and act like they don't care that I don't have a way to get back town, I mean back downtown, you know. Um, so, and it's like, the simplest things that make me happy, I'm like blocked and prevented from doing. Like I say, I like warm weather, and people try to make it like as if I'm wrong for wanting to stay in the South. And if I want, I mean, I don't want to go live in the North. I don't want to live where it's cold. And I'm 36, almost 37. That should be my right. It shouldn't be considered a bad decision for me to want to stay, I mean, to live in a certain city and state where I want to live, you know. But, so I'm done with this topic, and I'm going to see y'all later. Bye.